For months, we had to deal with nonsense like this. And this, yellow time finesse, back to goal. Look at this, finesse, not even timed, not facing the goal. We had to deal with completely impossible goals like this. No human in the history of football could score these goals, not even facing the goal, but somehow generating enough power to score on the spin. We had to deal with people being themselves out and getting wins after being sliced open with unrealistic and stupid keeper movement. Look at this guy, doesn't even control his defenders. All he wants to do is hold his keeper. And I think it's when goals like this go in that even EA realised that a change is needed. So here it is, this is what we're dealing with now. Yellow time finesse, that is not going in anymore. How about this? Perfectly green time shot, not under pressure. Wide, no longer guaranteed to be a goal or on target. And how about this? Middle of goal, no pressure. Complete RNG, it's gone wide. Changes have been made. So I thought what better time to bring you my first gameplay video of FIFA 19. Those of you who are subscribed to me will know that this year I've been mainly keeping it to rewards and rewards only. I did throw a custom tactics video in there but it's mainly, well it hasn't been any gameplay whatsoever up until now. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, just talk you through what I think about the game in general or the new game I should say, what I'm calling FIFA 19 2.0. Give you my thoughts on the patch, you know, how things were before the patch, the new meta, the old meta. And yeah, just going to give you my thoughts in general, but obviously it'd be a bit of a boring video if it was just me rabbling for 10 minutes, wouldn't it? So, in the background, I'm going to be showing you the final 10 games of uh, the first, the latest weekend league, which is obviously the first weekend league with the new patch. So, before I get into anything, you might think, you know, I'm exaggerating or getting a bit carried away. I've been playing competitive FIFA since uh, FIFA 08, the start of FIFA 08 which is uh, the first FIFA I had online. Before that I played every FIFA since FIFA 98 when I was five or six year old. I was really just one of them weird kids who could like play video games at the age of three. I think I've, my mum and dad have got me on video like completing like Sonic the Hedgehog when I was about three year old but yeah I mean I've been playing FIFA for a very very long time I've been playing FIFA for over 20 years uh, I've been playing FIFA online competitively for wait this is my 11th year yeah 2009 yeah so this is my 11th year yeah my 11th FIFA of competing at what I'd call like the highest level and I have to say this year I've I, I've never known Obviously, the, the the mechanics and stuff in the old FIFA's, you know, like FIFA 8, FIFA 9, they were, they were obviously worse, you know, it felt a lot more robotic, you could move in less directions, there was less moves you could do, you know, it just, it, you felt more rusty, but I don't think there's ever been a game, a FIFA, sorry, released more broken than FIFA 19, it's just, I, I've, it's hard, it, it's hard to understand that this game actually got tested, it's like, it's like they started making it in like June or July and just started rushing like they didn't have time for it to get tested all because it just, it just didn't make any sense. Like they, they introduced this time, the time finishing thing. I, I believe the, the thought behind time finishing was they were sick of 80% of goals being people, were people getting through on goal and hitting the driven shot and just smashing it in the corner, which don't get me wrong, it was repetitive and you did see the same thing over and over, but to get into the position, position to do the low driven, you had to actually break someone down. You know, it wasn't like anyone could just do it, like you could just press a button from anywhere and uh, the ball would just fly in. Unlike this year, you had to actually break people down. So I, I didn't understand the thinking behind it, but I knew where they were coming from. I think that was the, So the idea behind time finishing was to try and bring a little bit of skill into it. And I, I, apparently they got the idea from NBA, which, you know, basketball, you know, the games finish 100 100, you shoot, you're meant to score. You know, there's meant to be, if we call like a, I don't know what they're, what they're called, a basket. If we call a basket a goal, you know, there's what, there's like, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, 50 a game, don't really watch basketball, so that's just a guess. But there's a lot of them, isn't it? So I, I think that's where they got the concept from, but I just don't think it works for a football game because it's meant, it's meant to be a little bit more difficult to score than that. So it, it, didn't, it didn't really make sense at all. Taking into account that they also made it stupidly overpowered, it didn't matter what body position you were in, it didn't matter 
pretty much where you were inside 35 yards. The power wasn't really that significant. Um, it, it just got ridiculous, didn't it? I mean, it, it hasn't been a football game. It really, really hasn't been a football game. I just, I don't understand why where the idea came from. I do understand why the idea came from, but I don't know how it got given the green light because it, it's been a shambles. I mean, I, it really, really has been the, the, the stupidest football game I've ever seen in my life. But they have decided to now change it. Now, the way it is now, it feels like that a lot of the shooting in the box is kind of like RNG like even if you hit it in the green now it won't actually be got well obviously it was never guaranteed to go in or it pretty much was before the patch it won't even be guaranteed to go on target now which I'm not quite sure about because then it makes it a little bit pointless then sometimes I'm still having people hit yellows against me and they'll still fly in it makes me think it's a little bit random I mean if you don't time it at all it's just an absolute lottery. You're basically flipping a coin to see if the game's going to put it on target for you. So I'm not, I'm not too sure about it. But don't get me wrong, it is a massive, massive improvement on what we've had so far. You know, I'm seeing a lot of the other pros saying on Twitter, saying, "Ah, oh, it's, it's boring now. Everyone's on drop back," which is true. You know, I, I played obviously my 30 week in league games this weekend, and I've got to say about 20 plus were on drop back. 4-2-3-1, just parking the bus. It, it's frustrating, but I would rather be frustrated by having to break someone's uh, Tony Pulis style tactics down than being frustrated by someone banging a 180 spin first time finesse shot from, you know, 37 yards. It's just uh, neither are ideal, but th there is no doubt in my mind, and I will struggle to find someone who will change my mind that this game is in a better state now than it was pre-patch. Now, the other thing, the other thing that before the patch, well, the two most broken things by a well, Elton it across as well, but the main, most commonly used broken things before the patch were obviously keeper movement and the timed finishing, mainly the timed finesse. They kind of go hand in hand, don't they? Um, but I mean, and I, I'm assuming that, I mean, this is another thing, I can't believe they actually tested the keeper movements. The the speed the keepers can move at which it's just I've never seen anything like it. I've literally never seen anything like it. The keepers can move backwards and sideways faster than Ronaldo can sprint forwards. It's I, I'm assuming that they realised that the timed finishing, the time finesse was so overpowered they were going to need to balance it out by enabling you, you keep it at ice skate at about ninety seven sprint speed. But it's it just pathetic. Like I, I, I really, really, I'm at a loss to explain how a multi-billion-dollar company like let that get through testing. It, it's just a shambles. But I have to give it to them. That is a, another thing that they have. Seems like they've successfully nerfed. Uh, I mean, the time finish and the keep movement have both been reduced. I mean, shooting it is a little bit broken now, but it is. But it's, it's just better. You know, it's it's better. It's more, it's more fun. It's it's less less pathetic. Yeah, I'd go as far to say, I'm close to feeling like I'm playing a football game when I'm playing FIFA these days. I mean, I might be might be pushing the ball out a little bit there, but yeah, I, I it almost feels like I'm playing a football game because I mean, before that, it, it wasn't football. Was it? it was just an arcade game. It was, I, I, I don't know how to describe it. It, it. it was poor. It really, really was poor. And by the way, that there was the worst goal probably in the history of FIFA 19, messed the free kick up, messed the touch up, got tackled and still managed to bang it in. But yeah, um, those are obviously the main two issues. The third most broken thing, and it's still in the game, and it's going to be the problem for, I think, the foreseeable future, is the El Tornado Cross, or just Volley Crosses in general. Um, the pros are getting really good at abusing this. The Ronaldo, Ebro, left cam and right cam, flicking up for themselves just constantly, and then Volley Crosses and just... Especially the team of the year cards and the Ronaldo Ebras, you know, the tall players with a good head in, no defender can stop them. It's just it's just another thing that it shouldn't be in the game, but it is. Um, I've rambled on for a while now, and this is where you're going to see. So this week, uh, if you've been paying any attention to what's going on in the background instead of my face, uh, I did get 29 and 1 back in the top 100. So I've got some top 100 rewards coming for you this week. And here's a treat for you. This is the reason why we didn't get 30 out of 30. I mean... I've just basically praised this game, haven't I, for about five or ten minutes. What well, I mean, 
when the shit that this is this is like this is gonna be the frustration. It it does feel a little bit like FIFA 17 when you seem to have them games where no matter what shot you did, it's like the game just decided that the ball wasn't going to go in. Obviously, you saw that move my keeper a tiny bit. Still got FIFA. 19 1.0 in my mind, haven't I? So yeah, this game was just ridiculous. I mean, I deserved to win by about five or six goals. I sliced him open, sliced him open. There it is again, the RNG shoe in, Ronaldo. Hit it with his left foot for no apparent reason. And back there, AI block. Um, it was just mental. I should have timed that, but some of the yellows, they do go in another yellow. Yeah, I mean that's another thing as well. They have obviously they reduced the uh, the window, haven't they? They reduced the window for the time finishing, which I, you know, I don't think anyone asked for. We asked to reduce the effectiveness of it, not the difficulty you do it. The window didn't need reducing, but yeah, typical weekend league game. You absolutely batter someone for a full game. He breaks on the other end and scores. We did manage to get back into it actually in the 87th minute, and I thought to myself, yes, come on, we're back in the game. It's going to be an easy win, but. Last kick of the game. I'm not panicking here, not panicking. I'm not diving in. Ducora's left foot is apparently good enough to hit the bar from the edge of the box, but Neymar's right foot from outside the six yard box can't even touch the goal. But yeah, um, more than anything, I'm just happy to have squeezed into the top 100, especially with an informed Ronaldo coming out this week. As you can see here, I finished 92nd in the world. I was so nervous when I woke up and checked the leaderboards the next day, even though I never get anything in my rewards anyway. But, um, yeah, a pretty successful week. I hope you enjoyed the highlights. Uh, I don't know if you disagree or agree with my thoughts on the new patch in FIFA before and after the patch, but overall I do think it's an improvement. But, um, yeah, I've gone on for long enough now, so uh, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more gameplay, please drop a like and subscribe. Get those notifications turned on. In a few days' time, I'm going to bring it, bring out a new custom tactics video for the new patch. I've changed a few little things, but no major changes. But the game has changed quite significantly. And of course, tomorrow I'm going to bring you another disappointing set of weekend league and division rivals rewards. So until then, I will see you all later.